Hi everyone, Scott Reister live at the Girls State Basketball Tournament here at Wells Fargo Arena. Three years in a row, the Johnson Dragons have taken the state semifinal court and lost. Not today. If you can choose between school and basketball, that's no choice at all. Fourth quarter, Johnson up nine. Here comes the crossover. I told you it was coming and you still can't stop it. Maya McDermott puts the Dragons up by 11. The players weren't the only ones to bring in their A games. This is state championship level dancing, folks. Fourth quarter, City High cut it to four. Johnson answered McDermott. She had 14 points, eight assists. City High cut it to three with a minute 30 to go. Johnson needs a hoop. They need Kendall Need. Ball game, 71-61. Dragons can play for their first ever title on Friday. That wasn't nerve wracking at all, was it? Oh my gosh, yeah, we were sitting at Panera earlier this morning and we were just like, man, are we nervous? But I mean, we were excited to just be, be here. We haven't been here, so. Personally, and I know that my fellow seniors, we were not losing this game. Um, we were not going to lose in the semis the way that we did the past three years. And the other semi, Waukee was out of control. Literally, this kid is body surfing. The players were having an out-of-body experience. They led Waterloo West by 18 at the half and just kept on coming. Lindsey Kelderman had five triples. Megan Ernie knows how to draw a defense. She set up Taryn Reitzma, and the route was on. And the story was the three-point shot. A state record, 15 threes for the Warriors, 88-65. All of a sudden, you look up, and my wife tells me, hey, I think we're up a few points here. You might want to, you know, we might want to pull back a little bit. And I said, no, <laughs> we got to keep firing away. So we did. 3A semifinals. North Polk is on a mission. The number five seed upset Red Oak by 28 in the opener. And today they were facing the top seed, Dyke New Hartford, late fourth. Comets down one. Maggie Phipps puts North Polk up by one. This game was 10. Seven seconds left. North Polk by a bucket. Dyke New Hartford had two free throws to tie it up, but they missed both. North Polk does it again, 46-44. They will play for their first ever championship on Friday night. We're going for the title, yeah. Um, we have everyone we need for it. We, we just have to work together and work hard. We, I think we got it. They face Helen Friday at 8, and this felt so good for the Comets. North Polk's Lucy Schaefer, she didn't even care that she got busted up in the nose when she face-planted on the court. They are still smiling. And, uh, man, it has been quite a day. This tournament is thrilling, is nearing its thrilling conclusion, which will be tomorrow and Saturday. 